Welcome to Rob on Holiday. Now for reasons I'm not going to go too much into, we've arrived at Disneyland Paris a day early. So instead of paying the full rate at one of the Disney hotels, we're staying at one of the Disney partner hotels for just one night. This is the B&B Hotel. So we've got really limited time here, but we're going to do our best to show you around here and see what other partner hotels we can walk past and catch on film. And then we'll do a roundup at the end and see what are the pros and cons of staying at a Disney hotel or one of the partner hotels. The B&B Hotel is one of eight Disneyland Paris partner hotels. Partner hotels are not owned by Disney but are located close to the resort and offer free shuttle buses to get you to the parks. However, note that this shuttle bus is shared between several partner hotels. The B&B Hotel is a peaceful location that backs onto a lake with a walking path, which is great for an evening stroll. Inside, the reception staff are very friendly and they'll give you all the information you need to know about the hotel facilities and bus shuttle times to Disneyland Paris. There is also a Disney gift shop just off reception. The B&B doesn't have too many facilities, but there is an arcade and a quick service restaurant, Leal, serving pizza and pasta. This is also where you can enjoy the free breakfast in the morning, and the breakfast is fantastic. We've just arrived at the B&B Hotel just outside Disneyland Paris, and we're all really hungry, so we've come to Leal, and there's a massive selection of pizza. I've gone for the pepperoni. Looks really good. Mm. Also worth mentioning that the meal at Le Leal, you can get the pizza individually or you can get them as part of the meal deal. 17 euros 80 for a drink of the pizza. And in this case, an apple crumble. Mm. It just goes nice after the pizza. I just finished my breakfast at the B&B Hotel and first of all apologies to the staff cleaning up. I think there's more croissant crumbs on the table on the floor than went in my mouth but it's really good. Uh, we had croissants, there was ham, cheese, yogurts, fresh bread, uh, juice, coffee, tea. So a small selection but plenty of it and all really good. So it's definitely a benefit that you don't get for free at the Disney hotels anymore but you do at the B&B. Our room at the B&B Hotel is basic, but clean and comfortable. We stayed in a family room, which has one double bed, one single bed, and a set of bunk beds, so the room can actually sleep up to five guests. There is also a TV and several plug sockets in your room, and the Wi-Fi is great. The bathroom was small, but good enough for our short stay, with a bath, shower, and towels provided. Rooms are accessed by a keypad, you're given the number on the check-in slip when, you, slip when you get in, so that's, well, that's good, you don't have to carry a card around the park with you, just tap your six digit number in and you're in the room. A round up of the B&B Hotel, to be fair we only arrived a few hours ago and as I said we're just using it as a base for one night until we get into our Disney Hotel holiday properly. Um, so we've, we've eaten at the hall, the pizza was great, we've had a walk down the lake and seen another of the hotels, a um, few mosquitoes down the lake, but it's a very pleasant setup. up. Um, the thing you've got to think about is what you're getting for your money. I think it is cheaper here than staying at a Disney hotel, we'll put some of the prices on the screen. Um, and you do get a shuttle bus to, to the parks like you do from Disney, but it will be longer to walk from here. Most of the Disney on-site hotels, you can actually walk quite easily from the hotel to the park or Disney Village. Another thing to bear in mind about these off-site hotels is unlike the Disney hotels, you don't get access to the parks during magic hour. Now that might not seem a lot, but in that first hour of the day, you can get on a few rides that would normally be very busy later in the day, like Big Thunder Mountain or Space Mountain or uh, Dumbo in the kids' area. So it's worth thinking about, because by the time you got from here, from one of these hotels to the main Disney park, people from the Disney hotels may have been riding rides for one or two hours before you get a chance to get in. So that's also something worth factoring in, because we've always found the magic hours to be very useful. One thing, uh, I've not reviewed it yet because we're having breakfast tomorrow morning. The breakfast is included in the price here at the B&B. So we'll have a look at that tomorrow. And that's something you don't get for standard in the Disney hotels anymore. If you want breakfast at one of the Disney hotels, then you've got to pay extra money. 
Um, but like I say, as a stopping off point just for one night, because we've got here on a later flight, we're going to crash here for the night before we go to the Santa Fe Hotel tomorrow. And it might be a good option if that's what you're looking for. So, is it worth staying at the B&B Hotel? Personally, I wouldn't stay there over a Disney hotel because extra magic hours are a big part of our trips. However, I do think it's a great option for your first night if you're arriving in the afternoon or evening so that you're not wasting money on a park ticket on your arrival day. And this is exactly what we did on this occasion. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching Rob on Holiday and see you next time.